वेलकम टू आसान इंफ्रा टॉक्स माई सेल्फ अनस अहमद थानेकार डायरेक्टर ऑफ आसान इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्राइवेट लिमिटेड बैंगलोर टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट मिस्टर वीरेंदर फ्रॉम प्रतिभा टेक्नो स्ट्रक्चर्स हु हैव डन मोर देन 500 हंड्रेड बिल्डिंग्स अक्रॉस इंडिया एंड ही इज़ अ वेल नोन स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर बैंगलोर हु हैज़ ऑल्सो वर्क विद मेनी वेल नोन आर्किटेक्ट्स अक्रॉस इंडिया वेलकम टू द शो मिस्टर वीरेंदर thank you thank you so much uh, i would like to thank mr thank anas for giving me this wonderful opportunity thank you virendra so today uh, i would like to uh, discuss what are the precaution we can able to take on structures see uh, quite lot that is happening in bangalore now there there are structural failures happening uh, across india across bangalore now so what are the precautions we can take on see there are various factors involved in this um i would like to point only main three factors in that first it comes to the soil investigation type of the soil what it has second comes to my favorite topic structural consultation <laughs> third comes to your favorite topic <laughs> going to the execution execution part yeah yes so speaking on the soil part you said uh, soil investigation to basically speak on the layman language so that the people can also understand so what is the soil investigation and what is done actually on the geotechnical that is the soil investigation process see there is having separate specialist for that okay you need to consult a geotechnical consultant what he does he will take the core sample of the soil he will extract the bore and he whatever the depth be suggest yeah okay in that he will find out what is the type of soil at what depth we are getting hard strata based on that like if you if it is a red soil gravel soil black cotton soil or it might be filled up soil also okay okay based on that he will be doing some laboratory testing okay in that he will be giving the soil capacity you mean to the safe bearing capacity sbc sbc very well like uh, to say in layman language like a uh, per meter square okay what is the load it can carry what is the mother earth can carry how much load how much load that that thing uh, he will do he is a better person actually we see in bangalore now average if you take see average if you take 50 to maybe 60 percent approximately okay. it might get around 20 ton per meter square okay okay if site a is having 20 ton per meter square of safe bearing capacity okay site b might have filled up soil okay okay it's not like a site a is having sbc of 20 will go with the same thing you should not save money there <laughs> okay <laughs> if you save money there it will become it might go disaster okay okay you might have seen in bangalore okay there are like a few especially in few areas okay it's like hilly areas kind okay. of thing up, is there. ups and downs are there ups yeah. and downs are there okay to make it straight level what might they have done first site whatever they will cut it and yeah. make it and that entire field filling wall will be there no that will be uh, dumped the, in the second side very well. yeah okay in that scenario top layer soil will be there no it will be having filled up soil okay if site a has 20 ton per meter square site b will be having around 5 ton per meter square maybe less also less also site a footing depth and the site b footing depth also may vary because may of, vary may yes. vary because of the filled up soil filled up soil so Uh, we cannot depend on the other people. Our yes. neighbor taking the soil yes. test, and we cannot carry the same soil uh, test to take it forward to the structures. Yes. So each and every site has to have a individual different, soil different test being test. tested. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Speaking, you are favorite topic, the second uh, part, <laughs> okay. structures. Yes. So uh, what do you what what are the things that should be uh, w- w- taken care in the structures, and uh, w- what do you do actually on the structures? Okay. like well, what is the strengthening part you do and uh, what is it actually uh, puts more on the civil engineering basis see based on the requirements okay different different kind of buildings will be having different different requirements if it is a residential it, if it is a independent residential villa apartment will be there high rise building will be there commercial whatever it may be based on the requirements we will be analyzing the complete building in a software we will be getting the column loads whatever the column loads will be there okay based on that column loads 
our structural our geo consultant will be given the soil bearing capacity okay we will use that and we will finalize the footing sizes okay based on the sbc value and based on the column loads okay we will be designing the foundation that foundation might be like isolated footings like mm-hmm. each column will be having independent uh, footings mm-hmm. and if the safe bearing capacity is very much less mm-hmm. and if the loads are very much high we will be combine the footings i mean say so we'll be combining both column loads into make a single footing okay and if the column loads are very much high and if if the safe bearing capacity is very much low we will be going for the raft foundation okay and if the depth of excavation i mean to say if the if we're getting hard stratite very deeper then we we may we may have to go for pile foundation pile foundation depending upon the soil investigation then we will be judging the type of the foundation so here you have uh, three types of three four types of foundation yes so that means uh, isolated footing combined footing raft foundation and the pile foundation pile foundation this yes. all the usual procedures that is being followed in the industry now especially in bangalore in bangalore. different different places different we'll be doing same okay yes and after once the foundation is done we will be preparing all set of structural drawings and it will be transferred to the your team <laughs> so called execution technical Execu- execution, execution person technical team. i think you are the better person to explain <laughs> i want so, you to explain this so in execution uh, see it's 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 like getting all the technical stuff technical drawings from architects from structural engineers and everything and putting it across to read it and execute it. that is what that is how it is so you might have experienced in your uh, case yes. so you might have given the drawings to the p- people who even doesn't understand the drawing yes. who might be experienced in the industry but doesn't understand drawing yes. you can say about that experience actually yes. when you give the drawing to a person who doesn't understand a drawing you in a layman uh, this thing yeah, right. so what is the output you get at that point of time i have seen this thing most of the places uh, what happen where the soil bearing capacity is very much less in that case what happens our footing size will become more okay when the uh, contractor he is uh, quoted for some less cost okay okay what he does to save his cost or is save his uh, profit margin whatever the drawings we give he will not study at all okay okay this based on my experience okay, i'm telling okay. he won't study the drawings whatever the footing sizes he won't consider those thing he will take only column locations okay okay and he will put standard footing sizes <laughs> for all columns he will put 416 412 okay the many building have seen that one okay and uh, all footing sizes will be 5 by 5 this is very very dangerous actually okay it should not done like that you should not basically you mean to say uh, they don't understand the drawing and they don't read the drawing yes. one is the fact uh, the one is the cost factor yes that means any client or any uh, uh, person taking a quotation from the contractor without any structural architectural drawing is baseless is yes completely baseless, baseless. So yes. first they have to take a drawing from a structural consultant that that become that where they have a rough idea to make the BOQ at least to estimate correct. the cost. Correct. So correct. that is correct. the mind correct. scenario. At least you should will be having some ballpark uh, figure. Figure will be having based on that you can uh, proceed with the further stages. So speaking on the uh, topic, what you asked to me, uh, the execution part. Uh, that is that is where we are a specialist in. So we have a set of engineers who are experienced in the field. where they know how to read the drawing how to read the sections everything and what are the sop uh, safe operating procedures to follow on the site and uh, what are the notes that has been given in the structural drawing and or even the architectural drawing the notes that has been given that has to be executed properly on the site and uh, speaking on the challenges what we have uh, usually we uh, collaborate uh, we act as a bridge between a structural engineer and architect usually because there, there is a drawing that 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 says on architectural drawing this is how it is to be executed and the structure has a different face to it yeah. then we might have to say uh, the architectural or a structural thing that this is what is the architectural drawing says and this is what is the structural drawing says and as per the structural drawing uh, the expectation of architect is not being met and we uh, we convey that to both parties and they uh, fix this among themselves and the site gets uh, the better uh, this thing uh, the better output at the site okay, okay, okay. and uh, following the procedures the like gas standards the amount of steel you put in and the uh, especially the curing period and you take each and every material uh, like uh, using uh, from using the cement using the sand using the gravel uh, 
or using the RMC concretes, whatever it is. So there is there is a, a specific test for that, and it is a specific load for that. You cannot buy any M sand in the market and put it in the uh, building. Yeah. You cannot buy any blocks who are selling the block. You have to know the compressive strength of the block and what is the absorption ratio on the block or the yeah. brick, whatever it is, and then when well, you can put into that. Yes. And even buying the steel, so which brand, how much uh, uh, strength, and what is the uh, TMT rods they sell, and what is the strength they get out of it? All those things has to be taken care. Even if you do the RMC, who is supplying the RMC? Which brand is the RMC? And uh, what is the compressive strength we are getting with out of that RMC? Is an important task. So for uh, people in general, uh, building a home. <laughs> is a very emotional thing it's a life one time life experience for them correct, correct so so to give the best output to them is what is our vision that is what is we are meant for being a civil engineer in the market correct